Welcome to our deep dive into the four fundamental forces of nature. These forces are the cosmic bases of our universe. The invisible hand shapes everything from the smallest atom to the largest galaxies. These forces play a very important role in regulating the interactions of matter and energy in the universe. So buckle up as we journey through the fascinating world of gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. Get ready to have your mind blown wide open. First up, we've got gravity. Now gravity might seem pretty mundane. After all, it's just what keeps our feet on the ground, right? But hold on a second. Gravity is way more profound than that. It's not just about falling apples or keeping our planet in orbit around the sun. Gravity is the force that orchestrates the cosmic ballet of celestial objects. It's the invisible conductor of the universe's grand symphony. Think about it. The effects of gravity extend to unimaginably large distances and are responsible for holding together entire galaxies made up of billions of stars. It's what causes massive stars to collapse under their own weight, ultimately sparking the fiery birth of new stars. And speaking of stars, gravity is the driving effect behind the formation of those celestial furnaces. Clouds of gas and dust scattered across the cosmos are drawn together by gravity's relentless pull. Over eons, these clouds coalesce, becoming denser and hotter until, boom, nuclear fusion ignites and a star is born. But gravity's influence doesn't stop there. It even affects the fabric of space-time itself, warping it like a bowling ball placed on a trampoline. This warping is what we perceive as gravity. Now, you might be wondering, what is gravity exactly? Well, that's where things get really interesting. You see, we still don't have all the answers. We know how gravity behaves, but the why, the fundamental nature of this force, remains one of the biggest mysteries in modern physics. Some theories suggest the existence of a particle called the graviton, which mediates the force of gravity. But so far, the graviton remains elusive, a phantom particle that continues to taunt our understanding of the universe. Despite its mysteries, gravity is an essential force shaping the cosmos on every scale, from the smallest particles to the largest structures in the universe, it's a constant reminder that there's still so much more to discover out there in the vast cosmic arena. So, the next time you feel gravity holding you down, remember, it's the same force that's holding together galaxies billions of light years away. It's a force that connects us to the most distant corners of the universe. But gravity is just one piece of the cosmic puzzle. Let's move on to the next force, electromagnetism, which is responsible for some pretty amazing phenomena, from the northern lights to the internet we're using right now. Next up, we're diving into the electrifying world of electromagnetism. This force is all about charges, positive and negative, and their interactions. It's the force behind everything electric and magnetic, powering our homes, cities, and modern world. No smartphones, no computers, no Netflix. Now that's a scary thought. But electromagnetism is more than just electricity. It's also responsible for magnetism, attracting or repelling certain materials. From compasses to medical imaging, magnetism plays a crucial role in our lives. Electricity and magnetism are two sides of the same coin, intertwined in a beautiful dance of energy. A changing electric field creates a magnetic field, and vice versa. This dynamic interplay allows us to generate electricity and communicate wirelessly. Did you know that light itself is an electromagnetic wave? Those beautiful sunsets, rainbows, and starlight, all thanks to electromagnetism. It holds atoms together, binding electrons to the nucleus. Electromagnetism powers the incredible energy released in stars, and it's responsible for the awe-inspiring northern lights. So, the next time you flick on a light switch or gaze at the stars, remember the power of electromagnetism. But our journey through the fundamental forces isn't over yet. We're about to delve into the strange and powerful world of the strong nuclear force. Now buckle up because we're about to go subatomic. It's time to explore the strong nuclear force, the force that's responsible for holding the very core of matter together. You see atoms, the building blocks of everything we see and touch, aren't just tiny, indivisible spheres. They're made up of even smaller particles protons, neutrons, and electrons. And at the heart of every atom lies the nucleus, a dense, positively charged core made up of protons and neutrons. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Protons, those positively charged particles, really don't want to be near each other, like charges repel, remember? So, what's holding them together in the incredibly tight space of the atomic nucleus? That's where the strong nuclear force comes in. The strong force is like the ultimate cosmic glue, 
overcoming the electromagnetic repulsion between protons and binding them together with incredible strength. It's the strongest of all the fundamental forces, hence the name strong nuclear force. But here's the catch. The strong force only operates over extremely short distances on the scale of atomic nuclei. Think of it like a super strong magnet that only works when things are incredibly close together. Without it, atomic nuclei would fly apart, and matter as we know it wouldn't exist. No stars, no planets, no us. And while the strong force might seem like a quiet achiever, lurking deep within atoms, it's also responsible for some of the most powerful events in the universe. Think about nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun and other stars. In this incredible cosmic dance, intense heat and pressure overcome the electrostatic repulsion between atomic nuclei, allowing them to get close enough for the strong force to take over. The nuclei then fuse together, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. And on the flip side, the strong force is also involved in nuclear fission, the process of splitting atoms, which is used in nuclear power plants and unfortunately, atomic bombs. So the next time you look at, well anything, remember that the strong nuclear force is hard at work, responsible for holding the very essence of matter together. It's a force of incredible power, operating on a scale so small, yet with consequences that shape the entire universe. But our journey through the fundamental forces isn't over yet. We still have one more force to explore, the weak nuclear force, a force with a rather unassuming name, but with some pretty mind-blowing effects. And finally, we arrive at the most mysterious and elusive of the four fundamental forces, the weak nuclear force. Now, don't let the name fool you. This force might be called weak, but it plays a critical role in shaping the universe as we know it. Unlike its stronger counterpart, the weak force isn't about holding things together. Instead, it's all about change, transformation, and the very essence of radioactive decay. You see, the weak force is responsible for certain types of radioactive decay, where unstable atomic nuclei transform into more stable configurations. This might sound complicated, but it's happening all around us, even within our own bodies. One of the most well-known examples of the weak force in action is beta decay. In this process, a neutron within an atom's nucleus can transform into a proton, an electron, and a near-massless particle called an antineutrino. The weak force is responsible for this transformation making processes like carbon dating possible. But the weak force's influence extends far beyond radioactive decay. It's also crucial for nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun and other stars. In fact, the first step in the chain reaction that fuels our sun involves the weak force, transforming a proton into a neutron. Now, here's where things get really interesting. The weak force is the only force that can change the flavor of quarks. Now what are quarks, you might ask? Well, they're the fundamental particles that make up protons and neutrons. There are six different types of quarks, each with its own unique properties. And the weak force is the only force that can transform one type of quark into another. Without it, stars wouldn't be able to produce the heavier elements. So the next time you hear about radioactive decay, nuclear fusion, or even the strange world of particle physics, Remember the weak nuclear force. It might be the most elusive of the fundamental forces, but it's a crucial player in the grand cosmic drama. So there you have it, the four fundamental forces of nature gravity electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force. These forces work together to shape the universe from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy. Understanding these forces helps us uncover the fundamental workings of the cosmos. It's like learning the language of the universe allowing us to decipher its mysteries and appreciate the incredible beauty of their creation. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating science content.